A speed time graph shows the motions of two vehicles X and Y for a period of 12 seconds. Graph ABC represents the motion of vehicle X and graph BQ represents the motion of vehicle Y. Number 1. Calculate the value of U. To find the value of U, we need to find the coordinate of this point. This point is the intersection of straight line AB and straight line PQ. The equation of the straight line AB is y equals we find the gradient of the straight line AB. So we use the formula y2 minus y1 per x2 minus x1. So 15 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0. So the equation of AB is y equals 15 per 4x. The equations follow the form y equals mx plus c. c is the y-intercept. The y-intercept for straight line AB is 0. Find the intersection point. We substitute n into y and u into x. So u is 8 per 3. Number 2. Calculate the rate of change of speed in meter per second per second of vehicle x in the first u seconds. Rate of change of speed means the gradient of this red line. And gradient of this straight line is always the same as the gradient of OB. So the gradient of OB is 15 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0. And we get 15 kilometers per 4 hours second. Then we need to change kilometers to meter. So time 1000 hour to second time 2600. And finally we get 25 per 24 meter per second per second. Number 3. Calculate the distance in meter traveled by the vehicle X in the first few seconds. The distance in speed time graph means the area under the graph. So we need to find the area of this red triangle. The area of the red triangle is half time 8 per 3 times 10. And we get 40 km seconds per 3 hour. Then we change km to meter and hour to seconds. And finally, the distance is 100 per 27 meter. Number 4. Describe the motion of vehicle X for the period of 12 seconds. To describe the motion, we need to find distance, time, and average speed. The distance of the vehicle X in the period of 12 seconds equals the area below the graph, ABC. So the area is half time. The length of BC, so 12 minus 4, then plus the length of this blue line, that is 12, then multiplied by the height of the trapezium, so it's 15. So the distance is 150 km per hour second. Why km per hour second? See the unit. The unit. So kmh minus 1. S. So we change kilometers to meters and hour to seconds. So the distance is 125 per 3 meter. The time is 12 seconds. Then average speed is distance per time 125 per 3 divided by 12. So the average speed is 125 per 36 meter per second. In conclusion, we go X move for a distance of 125 per 3 meters in 12 seconds with an average speed of 125 per 36 meter per second. Number 5. Calculate the value of t if the distance traveled by vehicle x in t seconds is equal to the distance by vehicle y in the period of 12 seconds. The distance traveled by the vehicle x in t seconds is the area of the graph a b r s, and the distance by vehicle y in the period of 12 seconds 
is the area under straight line PQ. Area under graph ABRS is the area of trapezium. The area of trapezium is half time the length of BR T minus 4 plus the length of AS that is T and then multiplied by the height of the trapezium in area under the straight line PQ is 12 times 10 then we solve the equation and finally we get T equals 10